Guns and drugs, all problems ripping through Toronto's Somali community. The violence has spilled into public places, and most of those murders remain unsolved. Well, tonight we continue our investigative series, Ceasefire, Reclaiming Our Communities, with a CBC News exclusive. John Lancaster looks at the underworld of these Somali gangs. <laughs> It's a video you weren't supposed to see. It was seized during a Toronto police guns and gang investigation. And obtained by CBC Toronto through a court order on the condition we not show you their faces. Police say the men are part of ongoing investigations. Kill or be killed. I sell drugs. Why, sell drugs why people sell you? drugs is a personal reason for that person. You know what I okay, mean? So you can I'm, never I'm understand you. why someone would sell drugs. No, no, no. You know what I mean? I, 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 there's, there's, there's a lot of combinations. Yeah, there's a surrounding. If, you. mo- if your friends around you are making money by selling drugs, you're going to sell drugs with them. If five out of your six friends are selling drugs, guess what? You're buying yourself a little scale and you're getting on with them. Some of them go up there for the purpose of just selling drugs. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. They're That's not going true. up there That's looking true. for camp jobs. But They're saying, oh, mm-hmm. my boys have Instagram pictures with them holding stacks. Yeah. I'm on it. They're okay. already out there. They have a base. I'm joining. Okay. You know, they're not going out there saying, first, I'm going to try a camp. If not, then I'm going to go sell drugs. No, the whole thing is, yeah, the dope game is working out there. I'm coming. Okay. So what, what do we tell the mothers? What, what do we tell the oh, mothers? Yeah, I'm they're, going, they're going, I'm going, going Adia, I'm going for work. And, and no, the thing no, no, is... No, no, no. What do you tell the mothers of oh. these victims? Guys, the this victims. is our, our, our mm-hmm. director. Mm-hmm. If you guys you hear another voice, I'm just like... Who? That's the police's job to talk to the mothers. What? Who's anyone talking... Yeah, but if you're... But if your friend if got you could, shot, yeah, yeah. Okay. you if know, you can help right? Hoyo. Yeah. yeah, you can help Hoyo, but you don't say anything. They what won't. do you tell the Hoyo? You say I don't know. I wasn't there. Edo, I would say Edo. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if okay. if he's not going out there for the reasons of specifically working, you know what I mean, and they can get caught up out there. That's what happens. People are getting caught up out there. Samantha, so let me well, ask you a question. Well, so what's the point of starting Somali Youth Matter, like an organization like that, right? Which, I, by the way, is an, a great organization. But what is the point of even starting an organization like that when these things are happening by choice? What I've heard right now, nothing that I hear was forced upon anybody. You physically took yourself to Alberta. You physically tried to find a good job. You didn't. Then you decided to buy a scale and sell drugs. Be like... The, the more we talk about it, the more realistic the, the mothers and fathers will also become and know that. Listen, or, you're, you know, a young girl will be like, you know, my, my brother's over there. Mm-hmm. He has, like, he's not working. I don't see him working anywhere. But meanwhile, he's sending checks home, like, every month, like, two three $3,000. And where is he getting this money from? You know? ah, at least ask some questions, you know what I mean? And if you can at least steer your brother or at least have a it's fucking it's end goal. Like, don't be doing this the rest of your life. Because I haven't seen... A drug dealer live past 40 unless he's snitching and working with the police. Sure. You're gonna die or you're gonna go to jail. Yeah. Well, or you're gonna be a snitch. One of those two. You're one of those three. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at least have an end goal. Like don't do this forever. Yeah. Please. So, so I mean, I'm, I think to get ahead of this, it has to start a lot earlier. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Me and yeah, LJ. Exactly. It's, 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 I think parents need to do a little more focus on hard work because it's shortcuts. Why do we, why does everybody do anything? Shortcuts. Exactly. Now, here, Easy cash. Money. So that exactly. there's no, there's no real uh, emphasis on, you know, go out, sweat, learn something. Whose you know? fault is that, though? That's, I mean, there's no, eff- eff- you could blame the parents, you could blame, it is the kid's fault, too, at a certain age, but, I mean. So, when we blame parents, be more, do, are, we, are we saying, can we, can, I'm asking you a question, right? We can blame right? the parents a little bit no, for that. Fathers. Yeah. For sure. Well, these, the fathers, first yeah. of all, it's for men. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. happening to yeah. men. Yeah. There's not yeah. a lot of women that are drug dealers that are yeah. dying, right? Yeah. So, yeah. we're going to go ahead and yeah. say that. So we're focusing on boys and men here. Do you think having an absent father really contributes to this. Yes, it really does. And because yeah. there, there needs to be emphasis on hard work. Uh, okay. the, shortcut, yeah. the shortcut avenue is what brings people to this. And yeah. that's why they start dying because they don't know the gravity of the, what they're getting into. Right. Yeah. So if you don't know the... Because selling dope is not a, something light. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. if you know... Easy. It's not. And then, but, but, but these people think it's normal. So you get kids that think it's normal. They think it's, it's easy way So And they start seeing the cash and they get busted. Mm. Because what, what did I do? Yeah. Dope? This is not... They, they're like... 
They, they, they're shocked that they're, exactly. they're in trouble. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many people? Exactly they're that. shocked. Wow, I'm in trouble? But you got no, yourself you know what I mean? in the situation. And, so, and, 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 and they're going to be upset that they're, that they're in that situation. Right. And they're like, wow, the world's against me. And the, yeah. Bro, you're do you think, selling crack you, cocaine. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So you I think, just want to go back real quick, uh, Queen Book. The reason why I was saying is right now, even earlier you cleared me up, was because if, you're, if, if a person is a regular citizen mm. and they see a crime happen mm. and they call that crime in right they did their part yeah but what i was saying earlier is what i don't condone was the fact that you're in the game yeah. and you got caught but they don't have the, they don't realize the gravity of the situation they don't understand the gravity of the situation they and they didn't know what they signed up for and they're gonna be like oh i was working for this guy and i was doing this and i okay so this you is my mean? other question then. so there's there's two separate types of you know what i mean uh-huh. i wouldn't call it ratting if you're you know what i mean uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh what do you call it um a, a citizen, citizen you know, that walking up. A law-abiding citizen. A law-abiding citizen. citizen. See some guy shoot somebody, somebody and says, it was that guy. If someone hey, kills my mom happened. or my brother exactly. or my cousin, right. exactly. I'm going to snitch right away. Because exactly. do I have guns? Do I have a fucking militant movement behind yeah. me? You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're going to have to rely on someone who can at least, you know, investigate. Right. You know what I mean? So For we sure. talked about fathers, right? So yeah. this is happening in a household mm-hmm. where I'm going to give you a scenario. You have a boy and a girl, okay? So you have Ayan and you have Abdi. Abdi yeah. and Ayan come from a household where daddy walked out. Okay. Daddy decided, which is a very common story, yeah. that daddy decided to go get another wife, have a completely different life, and just disregarded them. Okay? Ayan ends up going to nursing school, right. finishes high school, finishes university, gets her M- uh, P- um, MBA, yeah. right? Is, uh, is about to do her PhD. Mm. Abdi, on the other hand, Completely goes the other route. Goes to Alberta. Tries to find a job. Tries to for a couple of weeks because he couldn't get the, as you said, yeah, the certifications and whatnot. And now he's a drug dealer. Right, if, right. if parents, an absent father, is a situation, then how come one child ends up usually the other way and the son turns out the other way? Okay. Listen, emphasis I got, of hard work. You know okay. what? I, I don't even think that. I know kids that have both their parents there. I don't think a father being absent. It's the child's choice. It's a, as, as, as Allah gave us all the mind to make our own choices. Right. So if someone goes bad, you some people right away jump to the fact, oh, these dad was that's not around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I know people that their parents were with them the whole time. Yes. That are doing very good. Mm. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a complete fact. There's yeah. people that are doing good without their parents being around. Right. I don't blame the parents. Right. I don't blame the parents. I blame the people that are de- making the poor choices in life. Got it. Yes. You know what I mean? There's people making poor choices in life, and now it's like becoming a bigger problem because yeah. it's happening. Over and, and over, over, again. And over again. So my goal is just to understand some sort of solution. You know what I mean? Right. There, that you know what I mean. And that was the Yo. whole point of the what do you call it? The Somali youth matters. Somali like, I don't understand. What about cautionary tales? Nobody, nobody takes that in. Like you I, see the wildness, you're like, damn, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, Abdi yeah, died, yeah, yeah, yeah. if Abdi died, yeah. Hassan died. Yeah. If if Liban look died, at, look at, right? Yeah. If all these guys died, your cousin and your dad's cousin yeah, yeah, and this yeah, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to go. Haris, they love Haris, right? Yeah. By the yeah. way, Ilan Haris, you're right. Thank you very much, right? So back to the Mr. Legal over here, right? Because you know you know about the legal system because you're getting into that, right? So because disclaimer, my lawyer, one, two, three, because because um hey dad, <laughs> you're distracting me with the dads okay no for real though since this is happening over and over and over again how is the legal system looking at us as a community do they even care anymore do they even do, are they starting to think you guys almost deserve this like because you're you, you, you it's happening all the time do they look at our community and say you know what you your community doesn't care so why should, why the hell should we care Okay, right? when, so you say the, when, you, when you say the legal system, are you talking about police officers? Police, I'm just, I mean, yeah. police, judges, lawyers. Like, what's, what are they looking at us? How is the background end of all of this? It doesn't look good at all. Yeah. It, looks, it looks really, really bad. And sometimes, for example, when I was in law school, I told them I'm Somali, or I go to these conferences, they're like, whoa, really? You're Somali? Oh, my God. You have any idea how many clients I have are fucked up? And you know what I mean? Mm. And I go, you really yeah. Somali? I'm like, thank God yeah. I'm out there. You know what I mean? But, yeah. yo, no, it looks, obviously, it looks really, really bad. To the point where sometimes I don't even tell people I'm Somali. Like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's embarrassing. But the thing is, the more you talk about it, 
the more you put a spotlight on something, the yeah. more the more likely that something's gonna happen. Like people need to wake up. First of all, wake up and admit there's a problem, right? right? So once you admit there's a problem, then you can work towards a resolution. Yeah. And there's no resolution that's gonna be binding and standing for a long time unless it's grassroots and organic from the community. So more than anything, it's back to the family. So okay. if you have an absentee father or absentee mother, or yeah. if you sometimes you have an older brother who's just leading a really bad example, people will follow that. So I would say before any anything else if you have a really good family system within yourselves and you have um good parenting then yeah. for sure that's going to help a lot yeah. because i wouldn't be where i am without my mom shout out to my mom yeah Mashallah. you know what i mean it Mashallah. takes a community Mashallah. it Mashallah. takes a community mm-hmm. to raise a child yeah. right. and let me tell you guys are 25 years old they're children i swear to god they don't know anything you know what yeah. i mean and they for example they can't cut it they can't go past grade 11 high school let me tell you they have like the work ethic of like a 13 year old botry let me tell you selling drugs takes a lot of work ethic it not getting lot. killed it, it, yeah. takes a lot of work it ethic does. whoever, so said, remember whoever that. said selling dope was the easy way out oh hell is no. Sure. Sure. Here's my thing, question. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were selling dope in Alberta for a long time. So it's like, I just feel like the dope game was going good in Alberta. Oh, yeah. And the Somalis heard about, you know Somalis, they hear about one thing, they flock in it. Right, right, right. And then Somalis just came and fucked up the scene for everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. The dope game was working even before Somalis yeah. game. Whoever was selling it, they were making good, yeah. it was consistent. You know, they weren't getting into problems, they weren't kill each other out of yeah. fucking who stepped on my shoe yeah. and then you know Somali started creeping in and just fucked up the scene for yeah. everybody but they never take lessons from each other like it's always the same you see some guys make the same mistake DUI all them drunk in a car guns dope <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the Toyota Humbri just <laughs> how many how many people watch the movie Scarface and immediately after they watch the movie Scarface they yeah. didn't talk about how he got killed they talked about how much fucking money he made mm. you know what I mean they take all, it's like selective hearing selective but viewing, are they smart you know I mean? think about it how many of them you see them selling drugs and you see them having so much money but when it's time they get caught they're looking for legal aid yeah. like, did you not put any money aside did you not have an end goal did you not say yo I'm going to try to make at least 50k and then kind of turn this money around so then the drug money will not last you long easy come, that easy money go. is easy the most come. jinx money in the world yeah. you don't make it far with that money that money you buy something nice guess what bro that Proceeds money will not work yeah. so let me ask you how many drug dealers to stack up their money and have an angle or put some yeah. yeah. for the yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. 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 open yeah. up a restaurant man open up a daycare do something how many guys did you see was up one year was the man at the club buying bottles for everybody now sitting down trying to call see when legal aid is going to come through for him Okay, so let me ask you something. Come on. How are we going to stop this? We're not.